So we are here at the school. We have just had a partners panel on the legacy and the future. I've stolen a few pan uh, partners from the panel. Would you like to just introduce yourselves and where you've come from? Uh, I'm Betsy Gregory. I'm from London and I'm the leader of the Startup Forum. I am uh, Eva Posedel. I'm from Slovenia and, uh, and I'm one of the participants of the Startup Forum. And my name is Tendai Makurumbandi. I live in Norway, come from Zimbabwe, and I'm part of the Startup Forum. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, maybe Betsy, you could just start us off by telling us a little bit about the idea behind the Startup Forum. The Startup Forum is a new initiative of Airwaves. This is the first time it's happened. And it grew out of an idea that John had. The, the partners have been talking for a long time about broadening the scope of the network and bringing younger voices into the network as uh, potential partners, as potential presenters, as potential selectors of work, and also to be ambassadors to their own networks of artist friends to apply to Airwaves. Um, partners nominated uh, participants, and we chose 11 from those nominated, two of whom you have here. We've been Meeting every day. We started on Wednesday afternoon. We had uh, we've had a day and a half of sessions talking about principle, but now we've started watching the work. And every morning we meet early to, to talk about what we've seen and the questions that have arisen about presenting from what we've seen. The eleven participants come from all every corner of Europe, so it's fascinating because the contexts are completely different. But what we're finding is the values are the same. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Great. So maybe as both of you are part of the Startup Forum, we'd just love to know a bit about why you wanted to, or what, what you're hoping to maybe get out of the, this weekend. Yeah, I think that when, we're talking from my personal experience, when Istok, a partner from Slovenia, asked me if I wanted to join, join I, I was very excited because I knew that I'm going to meet some incredible people, see some incredible shows also be able to uh, exchange, uh, expand my knowledge and yeah, really get some hands-on experience of about, as Betsy mentioned, so uh, pr uh, presenting, uh, cu uh, curating, producing, seeing shows, uh, being in contact with the artists, um, with the other partners. So I think that that's, uh, that's the biggest value of this forum and then them uh, giving us this uh, actually opportunity to come here and be here uh, in life, in person. Oh. For you? Yes, uh, for me, it's um, coming from this idea of uh, diversity, which is a word being spoken about in the whole world. And then I see Airwaves is like putting that into action, you know. Uh, so by creating this platform, inviting us all here, like uh, voices, diverse voices mattering. So it, this is like a, a recognition, at the same time, a learning curve. So they, then it's like, um, I'm convinced that what I'm doing, the work I'm doing, has carries some value. So then I'm rather inspired and uh, wanting to engage with also like minded people, uh, conversing more and uh, creating a better world. Hmm. <laughs> so, well, I know it's only been, only been a few days, but is there anything that you, you are taking, what each of you are taking away, or something that you're, you're coming out of this weekend, maybe something that's a bit surprising, something that you've learned from each other? Yeah, I, me personally, like the most obvious thing is definitely the people, the connections um, that we are going to get here and also um, the connections not only, as I mentioned before, with the partners, but also with the, with the performers, the dancers, the choreographers, with all of the people involved in this, um, this whole week and definitely just very personal opinions, seeing some of the most amazing dancers, performers, uh, seeing their bodies, how they work, how they move, some really nice uh, pieces all uh, together and just, yeah, enjoying this this beauty after two very hard years where it was all, almost impossible to see uh, some very good works like this. Mm. Yeah, uh, for me, what I'm taking away from here is uh, this sense of responsibility uh, that I got and then almost like um, it's like almost commissioned and like I'm going away here knowing 
uh, using all the tools and then ideas I got from my colleagues uh, and uh, do a better job where I'm going. And then also what I'm taking away from here, what is most importantly, is that I'm not alone. There is a bigger <laughs> community uh, that is working towards the same cause. So being in Norway, in Christian Sun, which is a small city, it's very easy to be like to go in that box. So in a way, I've been pulled out. Yeah, so oh. I'm, I'm really happy for that. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. And Betsy, finally from you. What I'm taking away, I think, is that um, it's going to sound like a cliche, but I think the future of dance is safe. The, you know, uh, what's very interesting about this group is that many of them, most of them, in fact, not you, Ava, I think, but men, most of them either are or have been dancers or choreographers. So they know what artists need and what artists yeah, what artists need. And f for them to be gradually making the transition into being presenters, is a, it's kind of a difficult thing because there's, uh, there are aspects of power, there's all kinds of, kinds of questions. But listening to, the, to, to these two and their, their nine other colleagues, um, really, we're safe. <laughs> Dance safe. is safe. Dance is safe. And, so, and, we, and we are looking forward to it. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Thank you yes. all so much for taking time out of your very busy weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>